In this video, I'll show you how you can set CPI up to receive SOAP requests. So in uh, API Hub, we can find SOAP uh, requests. And what we want to see is we want something where the S4 system is triggering some change and it's being sent to our CPI system. And in the CPI system, we can then do something fun about this message. Um, so I'll just take this uh, customer invoice. I will download the specification. This is the Vistal. So we'll get the Vistal here. And uh, obviously you can do this with all uh, all Vistals and you can create your own if you want to. Then I have my flow here and here I set schema uh, Vistal. And I define the Vistal, I just downloaded it and add it. Now we got our invoice request. Uh, out and we then select our uh, sender system we select uh, soap we select 1.x uh, we then specify an endpoint uh, soap endpoint demo we can specify our service definition in this case we do have a vistal so it's better to use this one we select it and if it was correct, you will also Let's see the other one I had. Um, I guess it depends a little on what you have of, of data. You can also have multiple bindings for it, and then you need to select one of the, the bindings that you have uh, for it. So I guess it depends on the Vistal if, if you have the data. And I guess we probably want one of those that is called in. Um, that want to use. We then have the option, no matter which of them select, that says ro ro <laughs> robust. And robust means that the SOAP endpoint will be active as long as you're running this service. And once it's completed, it will terminate. So only once the, the full message has been delivered, you will terminate it. And I think that's probably the best approach because then you'll get errors back into the, the S4 system that we could not deliver this for some specific reason. Um, you also have the option to specify via standard, which basically just says once we deliver the message and SOAP endpoint has accepted it, it will terminate and be good to go. Uh, and then you can select which user role you have uh, via security. Unless you know what uh, what they are, you probably don't need to change anything in here. You can change these if you want to. Then we can deploy it. Oh, save as version. I have just added a simple uh, content modifier here to set our a header. Um, and that is all we need. Now it is being uh, deployed. And We can obviously go to our deployment specification and get it there. And here we have our info. We could also get that from from the trace or from from the deployment perspective. So we select this uh, this Vistal. I don't know what the difference is between these two. Uh, if you want to include policies, it, I guess it depends on what system you're trying to to interact with and if it supports these things uh, or not. Um, so I will open the SOAP UI and in here I will then just create a new new SOAP based project uh, demo SOAP I'll put it here and then I'll put in my name and email address uh, just a sec okay, so in here we got this uh, demo project as a request we can fill in all the data we want to have into this um, and we can trigger it and it will then send the ma message and since we now our flow doesn't really have anything uh, it's just a, an empty shell we will receive the same message back um, so that's that's pretty simple uh, and in my header here we can see I'm setting the CPI calls as processed um, if I changed it here so if I go here change the the status here to be vs uh, oh so i don't know what it was robust 
serious version, deploy. Um, you should then be able to, to see that it, it doesn't get all of this. But maybe that depends on how long the and how much data is inside of the, the process. But if you have longer running processes, you probably want to, I don't know, that depends on the, the scenario you have. I hope this has been useful uh, and you got some ideas about how you can use SOAP uh, send endpoints with uh, SAP CPI. If you want to learn more about the CPI, then I do recommend my course, cpicourse.com. And here we're going into a lot more details about how you can create your own scenario, what's important for you to know. So cpicourse.com is the way to go. Thank you.